So it's May 2022 and a hot topic other than what's going on with the economy is what's happening with real estate. Is there a big downturn coming? Is there a crash coming? Is it going to stay the same? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about today. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker Cleaver. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley, Northern California area. And I'm going to talk to you about what I'm seeing in the real estate market and kind of what I think is going to be happening in the next few months, six months. Unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball, but from my 18 years of experience and when I'm reading and listening to economists, this is kind of what I'm thinking. So first of all, the market in Silicon Valley is still hot. I don't care who you're talking to, it is still ridiculous. It's still breaking sales prices and you know, hitting top numbers in certain neighborhoods. So it's still strong. Are we seeing more houses coming on the market? Yes, I just did some stats this morning and I actually was pretty surprised by some of the numbers. Uh, and what I am seeing a little bit of is um, houses that are kind of in the middle. So they're in good shape, but they're just pretty dated. You know, they might have granite kitchen, but they've got a lot of different floors going, you know, types of floors, maybe a little tile in one room, hardwood floor in one room, engineered wood in another room. And yeah, you could move in, but it needs work. We're still seeing those houses sit a little bit longer than normal. But if the house is in a top school district, all redone within the last year or two, we're still getting multiple buyers. Prices are pushing. It's fantastic. And then the other side, of, uh, other part of the market that's doing well are houses that need to be completely overhauled. Investors love those, so they're pretty competitive in, in that market. So we're still seeing sales uh, and good sales. What I am seeing though is the odd price reduction. I haven't seen too much of that in the last few years. Occasionally I'll see it, but I am seeing it a little bit more. You have got to price the house right from the get-go. It has to be priced lower than a buyer thinks they're going to spend. And if the house needs work, uh, price it even lower than you think. And I know that's scary, but you gotta trust me. I've done this long enough to know that when it's priced even a little less than kind of the average, then buyers get emotionally attached and they'll probably pay a little bit more than you'd even think they might pay. So that's a little tip. But again, back to what's going on right now, interest rates are rising. There's no two ways around that. The rates have been ridiculously low for so many years, people. I've been saying this, anything under 4% is almost like free money. I remember my parents paying for a house back in the 80s with it was like a 14% interest rate. They had great credit. So I hope we're not headed that far down the line, but we're you know coming up into the five range, 5% 5 interest rate. Fed's just raised the rates half a point uh, last week. Um, they're saying they won't raise it more than that the next time they have to raise it in a few months, but I don't know what to believe. So is that going to affect our market? Of course it is, just because that affects you know buyers buying power. Now they're gonna be paying a higher price for their money, which will affect how much they can afford. So I think buyers, I am seeing a little bit of buyers being more particular, a little bit more cautious, not jumping out of the gates. So the house has only been on the market three days. Oh, let's hurry, let's write an offer. They're being a little bit more conservative, which is a good thing. But here's what you have got to remember. I have a couple clients right now saying, oh my God, did we miss the market? Oh, should we have sold last year? Oh my gosh, Annie, like this. And I'm like, stop, 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 stop. Stop trying to figure out when the perfect time of the market is. Did you miss it? Is it still coming? Stop doing that. If you need to sell, then it's time to sell. And if you don't and you're thinking about it, well, think about it and decide if it's the right time for you to sell, not just on a, a, the price of the home. But here's the thing. I just went over this with a seller of mine. She started to get nervous that she's been thinking about selling for the last two years. So she's like, oh my gosh, Annie, I think I missed the mark market last spring. It was so hot. And, and I said, yeah, but look, the prices have still gone up so much since last spring. So even if it takes you a little bit longer to sell and we don't go as high over the list prices we are anticipating, 
wherever you land, even if she lands at the actual sale price or the list price, she's probably made at least 200,000 since last spring. I don't think she missed anything. So maybe she's not getting exactly what she wanted, just kind of going into it right now, but she's doing better than she would have gotten even a couple months ago. So the market is still strong in that regard. Will it start to go down a little bit? Again, I don't have a crystal ball. I do think things are going to kind of um, taper off in terms of that frenzy. It doesn't mean we still won't see multiple offers. There's still so many buyers out there. So if you're a buyer looking to get in, just get in, just get in. I'm gonna show you some graphs and some data of kind of what's gone on in the last few years here. And if you're buying, this is what I always tell people, if you're buying in Silicon Valley, just get in. Over a five year span, the housing will go up. It might not go up as it in some five year spans, but it's a great investment here. There's so much, so many jobs. Uh, but again, we'll, we'll go over some of that data. And if you're a seller, don't kick yourself that, oh my gosh, I missed the market. Oh, I better get, get the house on the market now. And before I miss the market, sell your house when it makes sense for you. That's it, stop, stop the noise of everything else. You will get a good price here, especially if you've owned it for more than five years. You're gonna make a, a high return on your investment. So, okay, let's look at some of the data. So here we're looking at how many uh, new homes are going on the market. These are single family homes in Santa Clara County. We're not at the highest that we've had in the last three years. Here are condos and townhouses, but you can see the options are are becoming a little more available. Um, and sale to list price, we're still over 110% over the list price and what the closing price is. Here's for condos and townhouses. And here's how much prices have increased over the last year. I mean, look at these numbers. Over, it's crazy. The lowest is 5%. Uh, year over year, the median home price highest being 30%. So people, even if there is a little bit of a downturn, you're still, I mean, I don't know that we're going to see 20% drop right away. So we're still in good shape. I hope this data shows you that even if there's a correction, I mean, prices have been really high and gone up and incredibly fast. So we're still going to see great prices. So I hope some of that data helped prove that Real estate is still strong right now. It's still doing great. We haven't, you haven't missed the market if you're thinking of selling. You won't have missed the market for probably at least six months. I don't see a huge drop in prices all of a sudden. Could they go down? Yes, they could go down. Will they still be at least the same, if not still a little bit higher than last year? Most likely. So what goes on after six months, I can't promise anything, but I think with little you know, raises in the interest rates, the stock market volatility, there probably will have some impact on the, the crazy demand, but you still have a great investment here in Silicon Valley. So again, I'm Annie Baker Cleaver. Please reach out to me if you have any questions about your specific situation. I do specialize in selling houses, listing them for sale. I'm good at it, so I would love to help you. So until next time, have a great one. Thank you.